In this video, as you can see in the preview here, you're gonna learn how to style select elements and make them really, really cool. By the way, before you get started, if you're here, I'm sure you want to become a programmer. And yes, here on YouTube, you can learn a lot, but one of the best ways to actually improve, especially if you want to turn this into a career, is to take some courses made by experts in the field. Usually these courses are structured in a way that makes it easier for you to learn properly. And I've selected for you some of the best courses and learning platforms. You'll find the links in the description down below. And by using those links, you're going to help this channel as well. So here I've got my index.html file. I've linked everything I need. So the CSS font awesome old style sheet and then the Mindo CSS file. I've got live server running, as you can see here, and also preacher running. By the way, I've made a video on font awesome. So go and check that out if you don't know how to set things up. As you can see, this is the structure of my project. So I've got the CSS folder with inside the font awesome folder, the Mindo CSS and then also the assets folder with two icons in there because I'm going to show you how to use an image as the icon and also how to use font awesome as well. So I'm going to show you both ways. So let's actually do something like this. Perfect. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to create a div here. So div and we're going to give it an ID main container like this and then instead of here i'm going to create another div with the class select container like this then a label with the class select label and then for i'm gonna write select category and then you'll see why select category and then here obviously that perfect then another div with the ID, select category, and then container, and also the class body, something like that. As usual, you can use the classes that you want, the names that you want. Okay, this is what I've chosen, but then feel free to change things up. So I've used select category container and then we're going to use select music container and select games container because of course we're going to create three different styles for the three select elements and that's why I've used this ID because if I want to target them one by one I can just do that using the ID. Then select name I can just give it the name category something like that and then the ID is going to be select category. Okay, so as you can see, for select category, and then you've got select category here. Okay, so the label is for this specific select element. And then inside of here, of course, we're going to do something like option, value, nothing, because this is just the first one. Then, okay, so music, then here, books, then games. Okay, and then home. I don't know, something like that. Here is going to be music, books, games. Okay, and then home. All right, perfect. Then down here, after the select element, we can actually create another div. Select icon, like this. And instead of here, I'm going to use the font awesome icon, okay? Let me just show you where you can find that. So let's actually go here. Okay, so you go on Font Awesome, Icons, all right? So you go that. Then you can just search for an icon. So let's say it's like this, all right? So free, if you want free, the free options. So as you can see, this is the icon that you click on that, and then you click on this and you copy, okay? You copy that. Then we are going to go back to this and we can just paste it there. Of course, you need all the files here, the font awesome style sheets, etc. etc. So as I said, I've made a video on that as well. By the way, if you like the channel and you want to support it so that I can keep making videos like this in the future, you can do that in different ways, like becoming a member of my Patreon, making a one-off donation, or even using the affiliate links in the description to get amazing things like professional courses to take your programming skills to the next level. If you want to learn more about that, you'll find everything in the description box down below. And thank you so, so much for the support. All right, so we've got that. And then as I said, I'm going to show you how to use an image here. 
Actually, we can just do this. So image, I'm going to do something like assets. All right. And then I'm going to use the color here. I'm just going to comment that out because of course that wouldn't work. Then we can just do something like this. So we can just copy the whole thing. All right. So the whole thing that, and we can just paste it here. In this case, we need to change a few things. So music here, then we need to change music here, then music, music, and then here, I just have three options, All right? So rock, then pop, and then I've got rock. Easy peasy. All right. Perfect. Hopefully I've changed everything I needed to change. And here I'm actually going to have the black one. Okay. So then let's copy this again and let's do this here. Actually, I need to change this here as well. Music. Okay. And here games, then games, games. Okay, and then like games, and here we've got the different things. So adventure, strategy, and then RPG, like this. Actually, I've seen that here, like that. Okay, and then of course the value, like this. Perfect. So this is our HTML. Let's actually see what we've got. So this is what we've got. Okay. So it doesn't look great, does it? Let's now go to our main CSS. Let's go here. First of all, I'm going to sort of reset a few things. So box sizing, border box, then margin zero. Okay. Then the body is going to be background color. 00171D, something like that. Perfect. Then the main container is going to be padding, 100 pixels, display flex, flex direction column, align items, center. Okay, so basically we've got everything centered. All right. Then body going to be position relative like this then with pixels like this then height 40 pixels margin it's going to be 5 pixels 0 20 pixels 0 then display flex and flex direction column and justify content it's going to be center so as you can see they're all the same now all right by the way, if you're enjoying the video, please give it a like. It's really, really simple and yet really important for the channel. And also subscribe to the channel as well, because I'm going to post a lot of other videos like this one, and you definitely don't want to miss them. Then let's start styling the select element. So select body, select like this. Then we're going to do something like height, 100%, 100%. All right. Then font size is going to be... 20 pixels, border, none, don't want the border, appearance, none. And this is really, really important because otherwise the browser would use the platform specific styling, like the default icon and things like that. Okay, so we want this to be none because we're going to add our own icon and our own style. And as you can see, after adding this, you don't have this icon here. If we remove that, you can see the default icon, all right? Then, Padding 0, 30 pixels, 0, 10 pixels, like this, and color is going to be black. All right, then we're going to change the color of the label. So select container label, and the color is going to be this one. So five, four, like this. It is starting to look so much better. So Obviously, here we are setting the same color for all the labels inside the select container. But of course, if you wanted to set a different color, you would just need to maybe set another class like red. And actually, let's see how you could do things. So, for example, here, okay, it would be like select container 
and you could add something like red and then here you could do something like this red and then change the color here and as you can see you've got the label red okay so this is just a little stupid example okay so let's remove this we don't need that all right but as you can see you can do a lot of cool things just by knowing how to use css selectors and stuff like that then we're going to style the container for the icon so this container here and it's going to be icon absolute right is going to be pixels top 50 percent transform translate y minus 50 percent so i'll show you what this does in a second then display flex align items center and then justify content center okay so basically this thing here centers the icon vertically so as you can see this is centered so this is position absolute so to center it you just need to go down 50 percent and then back 50 percent of the height of the icon and basically you center things okay i hope that makes sense a really important thing now is that if you click here as you can see you've got your drop down menu but if you click on the icon nothing happens okay why because you're clicking on the icon not on the select element so to fix that we just need to add a little thing here so pointer events none okay and basically now as you can see if you click on the icon that works because it sort of tells the browser so this property here sort of tells the browser that when you click on the icon you want the click to ignore the icon itself and hit the element beneath it so in this case the element beneath it is the select element because here you've got the select element and here this is absolutely positioned which means that it's hovering over the select element if the click ignores the icon itself this element then beneath it you've got the select element that's why the select element is clicked okay so i hope that makes sense that's really really important because otherwise you wouldn't be able to open the select element by clicking on the little icon here okay then as we are using the font awesome icon we can just change size and color okay using css so select icon like this font size 20 pixels and then color is going to be this one as well so as you can see you've got that and let me show you how you can do things with the images so with these two images instead of the icon of the font awesome icon by the way to get the images you just need to go to the website where we went earlier so font awesome and down here you've got download svg file you just need to download it and then open the file with a program like gimp which is free and then you need to change the color so in this case i've just uh, converted the svg file the black one to a png file and also i've changed the color of the other one and saved it as png file as well so i've got two png files with two different colors so that's how i did it so here we can just do this so that and that okay that that all right so now we've got the image of course we need to do something like select icon image 18 pixels okay so as you can see that works as well so that's the same but the colors are fixed so basically you wouldn't be able to just change the color here and change the color of the icon you would need another png file with another icon with a different color if that makes sense okay so these are black black and this color here and of course these are this and this okay so the colors are basically fixed and that's the main issue with using just png files instead of font awesome icons so i'm just going to stick with my font awesome icon so i just wanted to show you how you could do things with the png all right like this okay so back to the beginning as you can see i had to use color here black here and black here okay good by the way if you like the channel and you want to support it so that i can keep making videos like this in the future you can do that in different ways like becoming a member of my patreon making a one-off donation or even using the affiliate links in the description to get amazing things like professional courses to take your programming skills to the next level if you want to learn more about that you'll find everything in the description box down below and thank you so so much for the support so 
As you can see, now we've got this. Let's just start styling the select games. So, first of all, I'm going to do something like games container select. Okay, so I'm targeting the select element inside the select games container. So that one specifically. Then the background color is going to be this color here 00, 00 D7 C8. Okay, and this is what we got. But as you can see, we've got this color, which is really, really similar to that one. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. So we want to change the color. So we can do something like, as we've got this ID here, we can just do something like select icon, this. And as we are using the font awesome icon, we can just change color here like that. So much better, right? So this is the most basic one. Okay, which is still kind of cool in my opinion. And then let's actually do the other one. So select music container select. And in this case, we're going to use a gradient. Okay, so, so cool. So 90 deck, which is the direction basically. Then the first color is going to be this one. So 00D7 which is the say one, 77%. And then the other color is going to be 0048F, 77%, okay. And let's see what we've got. As you can see, it's so, 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 so cool. All right, so basically this is the 77%, okay. So really, really cool. And now that we've got to complete select elements, I want to mention that the color of the options can vary from browser to browser or even from operating system to operating system. So for example, here I'm on Firefox on Linux and the color of the options in the game select element is white. So as you can see, this is white. On Windows, the color is the same as the background color and even on Chrome. So I'm actually going to open Chrome. So now I'm on Chrome, right? As you can see, the color of the options is the same as the background of the select element. But at the same time, if we go back to Firefox, here we are on Firefox, the color of the options in this case here is this dark color here, as you can see. And if we go to the other browser, Chrome here, we've got this white background. So why on Firefox is one way and why on Chrome is the other way? I don't know, it depends on a lot of things, okay? but. What I've actually understood is that Chrome actually uses always white if you don't have a background color for the select element. So in this case, we don't have a background color, but we've got just the background. As you can see, we've used background. So Chrome doesn't use that and just uses the white background as shown here, okay? Firefox, on the other hand, uses a different approach and I've actually tested it a little bit. And I think that Firefox basically if the background color of the select element is light, then you've got a light background for the options. But if you change the color to a darker color, let's actually go down here, okay, and save that. If we do that, as you can see, you've got a dark color. Of course, this is like that only on Linux because on Windows, as I said earlier, if you have the background color for the select element, then the options will have the same color as the select element. On the other hand here, you don't have the background color, so it doesn't know what color to use to actually decide whether to use a light background or a dark background. So it looks at the ancestors and as soon as it finds an ancestor with a background color, it uses that color to decide whether to use the dark color or the light color. And this is the same on Windows because of course we didn't specify a background color for the select element. So in this case, the only ancestor that has a background color is the body. And if we change the color, actually, let's just do that. I could have changed it at the top, but let's just do this background color. I'm just going to use white. Okay. So as you can see now, this is white and the color here is white, as you can see. Okay. So why? Because the only ancestor with the background color is this, the body and the body has a light background. If we go back to this, then the only ancestor has the dark background, so you've got a dark background here. But let's say that you've got the body with the background color white and then the main container has black background color. 
as you can see now it uses that why because the main container is first because if you go up and up and up through the ancestors from the select element you go up and up and up you get the main container first and then the body okay so in this case it looks at the first ancestor with the background color and in this case this is the main container if we do this then now you've got just the body and if you go back to the beginning like this then you've got the dark background okay let's actually go back to this here all right perfect and if you don't have any background so neither the background or the background color then firefox just uses the white because the select element is white i guess that's the reason one important thing to mention here we are on chrome and we've got just a white background for everything so it seems like chrome doesn't actually care about the color of the the background color of the ancestors it just uses this white here if you don't have the background color for the select element okay but in this case you can actually change the color of the options okay so if you go here background color let's actually use something like i don't know this and then the color can be something like just this so on firefox nothing changes on windows this actually works on linux as you can see this doesn't change anything but on chrome here we are on chrome as you can see you actually get a different color okay so as i said things can be a little bit tricky when it comes to the color of the options so you just need to test it and i think that most of the times you actually can change the color so this actually works okay but sometimes you have some edge cases like in this case on linux it didn't work as expected but you still have the background changing according to the background color of the ancestors etc etc so you still have something quite nice it's not like the end of the world if you don't have the right color for the options in my opinion so i hope that i could actually shed some light on this specific topic because it could be quite confusing so now let's see the last one the one that is super super cool in my opinion so you start out with the same color okay then you do 20 percent then here you change the color to this number here and this is and then again another color which is zero zero three three four one hundred and ten percent of course you need to experiment with that it took me a while to actually find the right balance and of course here this is not the music but this is the category container select let's see what we've got as you can see pretty pretty cool you've got like this gradient that goes from light color to darker color and then here you can see the little icon because you've got a darker color here so this is pretty pretty cool and everything is working as expected okay now on the screen you should see another video about web development so go and watch that as well don't forget to check out all the links in the description to take your programming skills to the next level like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel as well and i'll see you in the next one bye